hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to crochet this very cute monkey cutting tie back so get your materials ready and let's get started so we're going to start with the body moving up to the head and we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four five and six okay and then i'll pull my yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here okay so now in the second row will increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase then increase the next stitch two and increase the next stitch And continue increasing all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet then increase and you continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then increase and repeat that two single crochets and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do five single crochet then increase and we'll do that three times for a total of 28 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and increase okay and you continue repeating that so five single crochet increase all the way round Okay, so after we are done with that now for the next four rows which is from row six until row nine we are going to do single crochets all the way round in each row for a total of 28 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we do the tenth row together okay so after the ninth row this is how your work should look like Okay, so now in the 10th row, we are going to do six single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 32 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase. and you continue repeating that so six single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round okay so after that now for the next two rows which is row 11 and row 12 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 32 stitches so i'll see you when you're done with the 12th row so that we do the 13th row together Okay, so after the 12th row, this is how our work looks like. 
so now in the 13th row we are going to start decreasing and we'll do six single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 28 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and then decrease and we'll repeat that so six single crochet one two three four five six and decrease And you continue repeating that all the way round. Okay, so now in the 14th row, we're going to do five single crochets, then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five and then decrease and you continue repeating that so five single crochet decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the 15th row we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and repeat two single crochets and then decrease and keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the 16th row uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet and decrease and repeat single crochet then decrease and we'll keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so now remember to start stuffing as we go. As you can see, I've already start, uh, started uh, stuffing mine. Okay, so now in the 17th row, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So you continue and do. Single crochet. single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way round okay so now uh, we'll start forming the head and in the 18th row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll increase the next stitch and increase the next stitch to and increase and you continue increasing in all the remaining stitches okay so after that now in the next three rows which is from row 19 until row 21 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each round so I'll see you when you're done with the 21st row so that we start the 22nd row together. Okay, so after the 21st row, this is how our little monkey looks like so far. Okay, so now in our 22nd row, we are going to do three single crochets, then increase and repeat that all the way around 
for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase and we'll keep repeating that so three single crochets and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now after that now for the next two rows which is row 23 and row 24 we are going to do single crochets all the way round in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each round so I'll see you when you're done with the 24th row so that we start the 25th row together. Okay, so now after the 24th row, this is how it looks like. So now in the 25th row, we are going to start decreasing and we'll do three single crochets, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two three and then decrease and repeat so three single crochets and then decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the 26th row we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and repeat so two single crochets decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the 27th row uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet and then decrease and repeat single crochet decrease okay and then you keep repeating that all the way around and when you're done remember to start stuffing because our next round will be our last round okay so after you're done stuffing now in the 28th row which is the last round we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches so we'll decrease and we'll continue decreasing all the way until the end Okay, and then I'll remove my marker, cut off the yarn, and now finish off. Okay, so I'll just go to the next uh, stitch and then continue pulling my yarn. And until the gap is uh, fully closed.
like that and then cut off the yarn okay so now this bigger side will be the head and the smaller side will be the body so now let's start making the muzzle okay so for the muzzle we are going to use the white yarn and we'll do a chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight okay after we do a chain eight starting in the second uh, chain from the hook we'll do seven single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six seven okay and then again starting in the last stitch where we did a seventh single crochet we'll do another single crochet in the same stitch and turn to this other side and on this other side we'll do six single crochets okay so single crochet one two three four five and six okay okay so now uh, in our third row here I'm just gonna place my marker over here so in the third row we're going to start by increasing so we'll increase and then we'll do five single crochets so one two three four and five and then we are going to increase two times so we'll increase in the next stitch and increase also in the other stitch okay and then we'll do five single crochets one two three four five and then increase in the last stitch Okay, that, so now we have a total of 18 stitches okay so now in our fourth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way round okay so after we're done with that now we're going to finish up so i'm just going to remove my marker and i'll do three single crochets so one two three 
and then I'll slip stitch in the next stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so now in the next round we are going to make the arms 